Hey guys, so a lot of people have been trying to figure out how to get the sight and grab bow. For those that don't know, it's an invisible weapon. It's the strongest weapon in the game. It completely trivializes everything you do in the game. And, you know, a lot of people don't want to grab it, but hey, if you want to get it, that's your choice. And there are videos out there, oh, here's a 100% guide to getting it. Well, let me tell you, all those guides are not guaranteed to work. Yes, they do work for some people, but they will not work for others. So the 32 steps, the seven zones, etc., etc., that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you. It did not work for me. Luckily, just recently, a uh, an RNG manipulation cure list was released, and it's based off the same one from the PS2 version. Uh, I won't bore you with all the details about it because it's actually kind of complicated, but you can use something like that to figure out the RNG values, and this is how I was able to figure out how to get the bow. Um, this tutorial does not require that at all, by the way. I'm, I'm gonna make this where you do not need a stopwatch, you don't need any external programs, so you can just sit back, you know, play on your couch, and you'll get it easily. This does work 100%, and the reason is because you are manipulating RNG to make it work. You know exactly where you are in the RNG, and thus you know how to make it spawn, and then you know how to get the bow. So let's begin. So step one, start a new game. Yes, start a new game. Don't worry, we're not going to go very far. I found this would be the easiest way where everyone starts off on the same uh, kind of like slate, clean slate. Because, you know, everyone's save file is different. All their characters are different classes and so on. So I put it on inverted controls because I'm used to playing, you know, vanilla. Where controls are inverted and you can't change them. And 4x speed just to speed it up a little. Alright, so go ahead and skip these three cutscenes at the start. So we're going to have to just do the rec section real fast. Just going to speed run it. So you just mash here and then click the right stick uh, like three times to skip this tutorial where you spin the camera. All right, so anyways, let me let me kind of go over how this is going to work while we do this. Because, you know, you've already done this. You don't need to learn how to do this. So basically, there's a few few parts for this. First of all, we need, we need to do this with Rex. Because Rex is going to find us our position in the RNG by spamming cure. Luckily, he can cure. So <laughs> it's pretty convenient. Uh, we need to get the diamond armlet. So by the way, if you have not gotten past the Mimic Queen, which is relatively early in the run, or in the run, <laughs> in the game, uh, you won't be able to do this yet. You need to be able to um, access airships, which is after Mimic Queen. You also need to have your characters in Rabinaster. So I'm going to go ahead and just set it to active, fast, just to speed things up a bit. Uh, easy way to beat this guy is just spam thunder on him. It doesn't really matter, the NPCs do most of the work. Uh, we need to get the diamond armlet as well. I mean, you can get the diamond armlet like so fast. So it's not a big, big deal. Uh, and you get that from the trials. So, but let's go ahead and set up this first. So we're just going to run up to the area where you have to fight the three, uh, three soldiers right past the save crystal. And we're going to make a save. You never need to like play this file after you've done this, by the way. This is only for the purposes of manipulating RNG. Don't worry, the bows will go on your main file. So don't don't stress. Alright, so blah blah blah, yes. Tutorials, tutorials, alright. So we got the soldiers up here. Skip the cutscene. I honestly don't know if you have to actually fight them. So let's see if we can just run past them. Just go back. Oh no. Okay, yeah, you have to fight these guys. So just mash attack, and you'll win. Like, you're, you're not going to lose this fight. Alright, so we won that one. So the reason we have to do this is to get rid of all the people down here. If there's any NPCs in the screen, it messes up your RNG. Because they affect RNG. A lot of things affect RNG. Um, so go ahead and hit the save crystal and save the game. This is important. You need to make a save here. And we will be coming back to this save. So don't lose this save. Okay, so go ahead and just hit the uh, options button, start button, quit to the title screen. Now you want to load your main game save. I already have it set up, so you can do this, last updated, to put it at the very top. 
Oh, that's so many. Alright, so we want to be in Rabinaster. Luckily, I already have a save set up for Rabinaster. And you want to go to Westgate. So I already have the diamond armlet, but I'm going to take it off just to show you how to get it. So go ahead and like get your party. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you could do this at level 1 with just Vaughn, because it's the rats. It's so easy. Go ahead and zone in here, in the uh, this area. And go ahead and just quit out. If you've already gotten the diamond armlet, you can skip this part. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you how to get the diamond armlet real fast. Just in case. You know, I'm going to cover everything for this. I mean, this one, this one only takes a minute. So there's a chest in the first trial that has a guaranteed diamond armlet. I guess the reason they did that was so you can open up the later chests with it. Anyways. So first, we want to run up here. Grab this. Let's go ahead and shoot a rat with our new bow. We got 1,900 damage. Kind of strong. So yeah, he has the bow. He's just... It's not visible. All right, so after you beat the first stage, you can go ahead and just quit back to the title screen. And then when you hit load, it's going to automatically load, you know, your, your last save. So you don't have to, like, search for it or anything. So next step is we need to go on the airship. Now, this is very important. You must be in Rabinaster, and you must take this one here to Nalbana. The reason for this is because the NPCs are different and they move differently and everything gets all all different on the other airships. The reason that's important is because in this game RNG is affected by quite a few things uh, and one of them is the movement of NPCs. This will be a lot easier if we can just cast spells and there are no NPCs but unfortunately we have to deal with this. So go ahead and go up to the air deck. Now you're gonna have an autosave. Oh, Obviously, like, this is obvious, but go ahead and equip Vaughn with a uh, diamond armlet. If you don't have it yet, or license, you know, it's an early license, it's accessories 3. License him. And I don't know if this matters, but why not? Make your party just Vaughn, or anyone really. So I'm gonna go ahead and just zone back out and back in. So we're gonna make an autosave. So you see in the top left corner the autosave icon. Okay, perfect. So... Just a checklist here. We have Vaughn as our only party member. He is equipped with the diamond armlet. And we're on the airship from Rabinaster to Nalbana. Now go ahead and hold your PlayStation button down to get to this and hit close application. This is resetting the RNG. Alright, we're going to reload the game. It doesn't matter how long you take, by the way. Like, the, the RNG is not affected by how long you take. So you don't have to be like, ooh, I've got to load my save really fast. Don't worry about that. Okay, so I'm going to show you the slow but simple way of doing this. Um, there are faster, more advanced ways to find your RNG position, but, you know, let's just do this. This is nice and easy. You only have to do it a few times. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, again, hit the start button and sort my saves by newest. And we want to load up Nalbana Fortress Upper Apartments. This is the save that we made a few minutes ago with Rex. Now the reason why we're using Rex here is because if I were to ask you cast cure on yourself on your main game file, you're going to get different values than I get. Your character is going to be different levels, have different gear. This, everyone's Rex, if you did it this way, is going to be right here. Level 3 with 23 magic power. There is no variance here, so everyone's going to get the same numbers as me. So go ahead and cast cure on yourself. And what we want to do is we're looking for three specific numbers. We're looking for 88, followed by 97, followed by 90. So keep spamming until you see an 88. You will have to hit the save crystal to get your mana back. Yeah, just keep doing this. This could take a while for... It depends. So this is why the other methods don't work. Different PlayStations start at a different position. I happen to start like 25 away, so I have to cast a lot of cures. So just take your time with this if you're not careful. And if you do mess up, all you have to do is go back to the dashboard, load the save again. Also, another thing that's important, 
Do not leave this zone. You do not want to overwrite your autosave. Your autosave is on the airship. All right, so we're out of mana, so go ahead and hit save crystal again. If you lose your airship save, you have to go all the way back and get it again. So we're just waiting, wait until we see an 88. We'll see a few 88s. That doesn't necessarily mean it's the correct 88. You want to see an 88, and then when you see an 88, the next number should be a 97. If you see an 88, 97, and then a 90, you're good to go. So we'll be getting there soon. Some people, okay, there's an 88. Is that a 97? No, see, that's a 94. So we're not at the right one yet, so keep going. There was a 97, but that wasn't after an 88. So that means we're not quite there yet. So 88, this should be it right here. 97 and then 90. If we get a 90, we're golden. 90, all right, perfect. Once you see this, don't cast anymore. If you cast a single heal, it's over. Don't punch yourself, don't do anything. Just go ahead and quit out. And make sure you quit out this way. Don't quit back to the dashboard or you're gonna have to start all over. So hit the square button, quit out. All right, so we have just manipulated the RNG to spawn the chest. This chest will now spawn, so watch this. Go ahead and load your game. And it should be the autosave. That's what we're loading back on the airship. So I just... Uh, you'll know the chest spawned because there's an invisible wall. Like, the chest is invisible. It doesn't have a little exclamation point or anything, but you won't be able to walk through it. So that's how we know it's there. Alright, so there's a certain NPC that we want to be watching here. But don't worry, we have plenty of time. It's uh, this guy right here. Keep an eye on this guy. So first, let's make sure the chest spawn. Indeed it did. Okay, so watch this guy right here. You see him right in the middle, right above Vaughn's head. Okay, so we want him to come up the stairs four times. So he just did it once. I'm going to keep it on slow speed. I'm not going to, like, make it go too fast. But you can speed it up if you want, because this does take about um, a minute. So there's number two. He's going to come up a third time. Now, when he comes up the fourth time, as soon as he's at the very top step, open the chest and you'll get your bow. So not yet. Here's the third one. All right. So the next time he's going to go down, he's going to wait a second, then he's going to come up, open the chest. All you have to do is just hit X as soon as you see him on the very top step, and you're going to get your sight and grat. Guaranteed. Okay, ready? Here he comes. Get ready. Get ready. There you go. I promise you, this will work. Every single time. All right. How do we get more than one? Let's make sure that wasn't a fluke. All right, so let's go ahead and go back down. So you can do this numerous times. You don't actually have to leave the airship until you got all six of your bows or however many you want to get. If you want to get 99 of them, great. Go ahead and zone back again. So now we have a new autosave that we're going to use. Okay, so go ahead and uh, close the application. Reload it, and we're going to load the Rex save. So we're going to do the exact same thing again. We're going to load the save with Rex. We're going to spam heals until we see our magic number. And then we're going to quit out. We're going to load the autosave on the airship. We're going to watch that guy go up and down three times. And on his fourth trip to the very top step, we're going to open the chest. And we get another sight and grat. This will work every single time. I've already had numerous different people try it and it works for them every time. I've done it several times. It's worked for me every time. And that's because, again, we're manipulating the RNG. RNG works the exact same way for everybody in this game. It's just you start in a different position than other people, and that's why it wasn't working for you. So theoretically, if you know this position that you start on, and it's going to be different for everyone, you could do the 32-step method. It'd just be maybe like 20 steps. Like, I think my system, I'd probably take between 15 and 18 steps, but I didn't bother testing, because why? Why should I? This is easier. Alright, so we're going to, again, looking for 88, 97, and then 90. This could take a while. I'm not going to go into details on how to do this faster, because I don't want to like overwhelm you with knowledge. It's not necessary. There's a 97, there's a 90. But that's not the right one, because there was no 88 before. I don't think so. No, that's too early to get. It's 
So let's look for that 88 first. There's an 88. There's a 94. So that's not it. I remember that before. So you'll, you'll notice these are going to be the same numbers as you got last time. You might start with a different number, but then after like two or three casts, you'll be seeing the same number. Okay, there's an 88. This one should be a 97. And then a 90. Perfect. All right. Go ahead and quit out. So you can only see an 88, 97, and 90 one time. Well, I mean, eventually you'll see it again, but the first time you see those numbers, you're on the right one. So let's go ahead and load the air deck again. I apologize if this video isn't all like fancy editing and everything like you'd see on other YouTube videos. I'm not really a YouTuber. I just I stream on Twitch mostly live. I just decided, you know what? Let's just let's just put this out there. All right, so he's already gone up one time. Here comes the second one. We're speeding this up by the way just to make it a little faster. We'll slow it down in a second. Third time. But yeah, I I I generally do speed runs and so, you know, this Obviously, it's important for the speed run. All right, so here he comes. It's pretty lenient too, the timing. You don't have to be perfect. See that? He was a little bit farther up the stairs this time, and you still get it. So there you go, guys. Uh, you could do this again. So again, you know, just go back down, zone out, zone back in, go back as Rex, spam cures until you see the numbers. Now, you may have to do it a lot more times with Rex. Some people may have to do it in other 20 casts more than I did. Some people maybe only like three casts and they got it. It varies for everybody. I haven't yet seen anyone who actually starts on the RNG too far where this won't work. Maybe there there exists a PlayStation 4 configuration where this can happen. If it does, please let me know because I can probably find another spot for you. But most likely you're going to be within between anywhere between like five to maybe 40 casts of cure probably not 40 that seems kind of high but you're probably you're going to be around that range like for me it's like what 15 20 something like that 25 other people it's going to be a little bit farther other people are going to be shorter so anyways there you go guys uh enjoy your your sight and grats. i have eight of them now because like i said this has worked 100 percent of the time uh there. Yeah. Enjoy.